Hey, how's it going, Leo? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot with Shaken. So guys, welcome to your June 2020 Star Guide Tarot Card Reading. Um, this is one of my monthly features after I do the, like, the monthly spread, and then I do a Wealth and Abundance, and then I do this one every month because I think it's fantastic, and I just love using this deck because it was inspired by David Bowie, and he actually collaborated on the artwork, so his face will appear in some of the cards, and I just absolutely adore that. So guys, I hope you're all doing fantastic. And once again, thank you for being here with me. And I hope you enjoy and I hope the reading resonates. But I just want to give a reminder that all my readings that I post online for free are general. So anyway, with that being said, thanks for all your comments and subscribing to the channel, everybody. And uh, my dog is trying to settle down in the background, so hopefully she won't be a distraction. So I'm going to just shuffle one more time, and then we're going to look at the present situation. And then um, the reading goes on to look at any challenges, conflicts, resolution that spirit can offer to you at this time. All right, Leo. Okay, I'll do a deck cut, and we'll have a look at your present situation. Oh, boy. And I got a Beach Boys song in my head right away. And I know lots of people like the Beach Boys, but I'm not one of those people. So um, anyway, hold on. All right. So we have the Two of Pentacles. And in this deck, the Starman Tarot card deck, he's surfing. Um, some of, Sometimes the energy from the Two of Pentacles can be really jangly and not being in control. But you guys are... You make things look easy for other people. It's probably annoying, um, you know, to them because you're you're pretty suave, you know, uh, being a feline. And you carry things on your broad shoulders that other people probably wouldn't even think twice about attempting. So what I'm seeing here is that somebody else is looking at you and thinking that wow, you know, they really have it easy or nothing affects this person. I'm seeing that there is, and it's not very often I get uh, like a third party perspective on tarot card reading. So I'm finding this fascinating um, that I'm seeing sort of a, a bird's eye view of somebody else is looking at you and thinking that you're not challenged enough or you possibly don't care enough but they're not seeing the real you. They're seeing how you present yourself out to the world. Um, you know, and they, I don't know, because maybe they're the type of person that can get easily frazzled or they like to have meltdowns. Um, you know, this could be a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn because we do have the pentacles here, which is the earth. So I really feel like you're being underestimated by somebody. Um, and it's because you're so smooth, you know? Oh, my dog just sneezed in the background. So, um, yeah, maybe that has something to do with why you're not being allowed to connect with somebody or you're not getting promoted or something isn't happening because they're mistaking your veneer for what is really going on inside you, but you're carrying a lot with the Two of Pentacles and you're doing it extremely well. But somebody is seeing that as you being detached, very strange. So let's see what this cause of conflict could be here. So this is the Three of Swords, okay? So again, this could really tie into why you're being sort of underestimated by somebody because they're kind of a dramatic person and they could probably could have suffered some sort of trauma and they're expecting you to react a little bit more strongly maybe somebody's trying to pick a fight with you you know it could be your partner your spouse or somebody that's very close to you in order to get a reaction because they feel like their feelings have been hurt Somebody just doesn't think that you're taking them seriously enough or taking a situation seriously enough Three of Swords, you know, Three of Swords really talks about pain. And when you see a pain like this, it's generally like something extremely traumatic or somebody very close to you that could actually make things sting a lot more. So this could be very frustrating for 
um, this third party. So if you have somebody in your life, it could be your boss or your partner, um, you know, a close friend, and they they feel like they're really standoffish. It's because I'm seeing here that they don't think that you are taking them seriously enough, but just because you're not like breaking out into uh, like some sort of crying jag or having a meltdown, which is probably how they judge their own stress, you're being judged. This is very, very, very entangled. You've got a situation with somebody I don't even know if you guys are aware with it uh, aware of it I feel like somebody's judging you wrongly and it's affecting your upward trajectory somehow because you're in search of more wealth and abundance or you know an abundance meaning you know, love life you know place to live nice car anything earthly um, it could have an impact and just because you guys react differently. Anyway, let's see changes needed in order to face the challenges. So we have the Princess of Pentacles. So the Princess of Pentacles. Maybe you just need to pay attention a little bit more to other people's messages. Get beneath the surface of somebody else. Go and ask people questions. I've got the guidebook here too because I've been, because this deck is so like bizarrely different than um, my other decks. I just want to make sure that we're getting all the guidance available here. Hold on for a sec. Let me go on a pause so you don't have to watch this. Okay, I just had to turn on an additional light source. So the impression that I was getting right away really, um, really coincided with the impression that I was getting. So it says, be observant and resourceful. Look to the little details. Enjoy collaboration. So I definitely feel like somebody's getting in a huff about you without giving you the benefit of a conversation. So you're going to have to start picking up on cues from other people. Um, and know that not everybody is as grounded as you and not everybody is as comfortable in their own skin as you. Um, and maybe look for triggers, especially if you're in a male-female dynamic and you're not 100% sure what the cues of women versus men are. Uh, you might wanna start asking people and really start to work with that person, especially, like I said before, if this is something that you would like to advance, some sort of relationship or job that you'd like to go a little bit higher because people, they can mistake that really polished Leo exterior as somebody that doesn't care instead of being able to really bring that stage presence and go, yeah, everything's cool, but on the inside, okay, things are a little bit hectic, right? So. Um, let's see what your strengths are. And we already know Leo. This is interesting. Okay. So the strength is the four of cups and the four of cups is really talks about missing an opportunity from, um, the universe or missing cues. So, uh, I really just don't see that as a strength. So I find that a little bit odd that that popped up here. So I'm going to clarify the card. And then you've got the judgment card. So I really see that, you know, how can you use this to your advantage? Like how can you take somebody's lack of knowledge and use it to your advantage? This is also very, very interesting. For, for those of you that are using somebody's false impression about you to have it work for you. Interesting. Very interesting. You know, sometimes having somebody underestimate you is not a bad thing. You know, especially if it's somebody that is vying for the same position as you or somebody that is, um, they want to start dating or courting the same love interest that you have. Very interesting, guys. So you have a situation here where you could use 
both sides of the coin to your own advantage. You're just going to have to intellectualize that a little bit more. Fascinating read, you guys. Fascinating. It looks like you guys are really like that, that, you know, big cat lying in wait for its prey. I think you've got a lot of people fooled right now. And for those of you that want that, it's a good thing. And for those of you that don't want that, you're going to have to step up a little bit. So depending on what kind of results that you'd like, you know, if you want people to underestimate you, you're doing a really good job. But if you don't want people to underestimate you, you're going to have to start picking up on the cues a little bit. So I am seeing this is, could be a brilliant strategy or a downfall, depending on how you personally would like things to go. Any other challenges here, guys? So we've got the temperance card. So this could be a little bit frustrating for you if somebody's not seeing you the right way um, and you want them to see you differently. You just have to continue to stay calm, but I don't see that being an issue because this is almost like a really, really strong um play on the field it's like you guys have written your own playbook here i think you're going to get some sort of information from your team of spirit guides also that could help you out on this fascinating huh you guys i'm really really intrigued by your reading because i'd really like to know your individual circumstances when I see stuff like this, you know, and seeing both sides of it, you guys could really work this situation to your best advantage, which I love. Let's see your outcome here. Oh, yeah. Boom. King of Wands. Winning. King of Wands is like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a really good game of uh, football or rugby or something like that. Um... You know, any sport, like I'm not a sports girl, I'm kind of more of an indoor girl, but where you have somebody sort of moving the ball down the field and they're outrunning everybody, you know, they're going around defense, they're, they're ahead of their own offense, all they have in line is the goal. This is you guys right now and you're completely able to do that and you have the support of more than anything your team of spirit guides here and it's like your higher self is really like you guys are always infinitely connected but it's like you're like piping in the information from the higher self and um you know you're really getting all this perspective it's like you have a periscope into your future right now oh sorry i'm doing this mm -hmm. um really really intriguing the king of fire, the king of wands, is the winner. This guy is going to step up and take gold on the podium, you know? And he's doing this with all this, like, ultra swag. Like, he's got a lot of style here. And you guys, this is a fire sign. This is you guys out running everybody on the field it's like you've got a brilliant play going on here right now you just need to tune into it a little bit more because whatever the situation is whether you're being underestimated and you're not aware of it or you are aware of it you can really tune into that have your higher self connect with the higher self of the other individuals on the field get everybody to work for your advantage so you can just really bow your head so the universe can put that gold medal around your shoulders wow wow amazing you guys this is this is it june is your month like really you know hmm okay so i'm really really super impressed with what i'm seeing here leo so just keep up the great work and uh yeah goal <laughs> woo <laughs> go team bye guys bye